Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and this video today is about double clicking. If you take the pick tool and double click on the pick tool, it selects all the objects on or off your page. If you select an item and you take the shape tool and double click, it selects all the nodes. If you take the, the zoom tool and double click on the zoom tool, it zooms up to everything you've got written on the page, much like the F4 key does. But if you double click, so we have it way over here and you double click on the zoom tool, you'll get that. If you double click on the rectangle tool, you get a box the size of your workspace. If you have an item selected and you hold down the shift key and double click on the rectangle tool, it puts a box around your item. Page tool. There's other ways to get to this. Let me zoom in here. But if you'll take your pick tool and double click on the bottom of the page, it will open up a page docker that you can change the size and uh, bleed and dots per inch and everything about the page. If you double click on your rulers, it opens up the ruler doctor, docker where you can change everything. If you double click on the guideline, so let's get out a guideline. Let's make our guidelines visible. If you double click on the guideline, you get a guideline docker where you can add or modify or change guidelines. If you double click on the text tool, it will select all the text and I'm gonna hit delete. So it, it selected all the text on the page because I double clicked on the text tool. So those are just some quicker ways to do things. I mean, you could go control A and it's gonna select everything much like the pick tool does. You can F4, it'll zoom into everything. You know, the shape tool, if you have an item selected, you grab your shape tool, all you have to do is encompass it and it selects all the item, but you can double click. Probably the most important one and the one I use the most is double click on an item. Let's say these two items are at the bottom of my plaque. Let's say my plaque is the whole size of the laser bed but I want to run a test to make sure they're going to fit. Well, if you select both items, hold down the shift key, double click on your rectangle tool, it draws a rectangle around those items. And then you could do a red line test with your red dot pointer to make sure it's in the spot. Or even if you have a knot hole, let's say you have a knot hole right here and you want to make sure you miss it. You can leave the lid of your laser bed open and that red line will it's a vector, well, I draw in vector hairline, so it'll trace that line, and you know for sure if you've missed that knot hole or bad part of the wood or, you know, anything on your engraving. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.